Hey, 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 what's going on, y'all? Oh, welcome to my channel, Tea Girl Magic Tarot. Yeah, yeah. Here to do a reading for my ch ch Gemini, my lovely Gemini's. What's going on, Gemini? High Vibe at Crosswatcher Collective, everyone here. Thank you guys so much for joining in, tuning in. Thank you for all your love, your support, your shares, your subscribes. Your comments, your donations, everything, Gemini, high vibe. Uh, keep in mind, it is a general message now. It's not going to resonate with everybody, nobody. Only take what fits for you and leave the rest, okay? Come on, choir. One, two, three. Oh, T-girl, T-girl, magic and collective. T-girl, 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 magic and collective. T-girl, T-girl, magic and collective. Check us out and see what we're about. Ooh, we are Gemini, 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 Gemini. We sing Gemini, 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 Gemini. Gemini, we are Gemini, 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 Gemini. Yes, that's what's up, Gemini. Oh, hold on, something's telling me to get something for you guys. I'm gonna get the zodiac deck. The spirit says get it because they maybe there's somebody up in here that they specifically. We don't know. But anyway, um, I was going to use the fairy, the ori, the or, oh, shoot, sorry, I almost failed. <laughs> the fairy or oracle, okay, to see what's going on. I want to get some angelic messages, but I do, okay, let's see what's going on. Okay, so I'm, okay, so let's see, what's going on, Holy Spirit ancestors? I see wisdom at the bottom of the deck, wisdom. Okay, and stability, or well, it says wisdom will be the stability of our times. This card doesn't say that, but when I see that in the scriptures, it says wisdom will be the stability of thy time. Have you ever been told you've been wise beyond your years? Now is the time to call upon your inner fairy of wisdom to help you with a challenge. So some of you guys are going through a difficult challenge right now, and you might need to be wise about how you're going to move through this challenge. Let the spirit lead and guide you, Okay. Um, you could be going through some type of transformation right now. Okay, so usually that's where you have to kick in that wins that wisdom. Okay, you're being tried and tested, is what I'm hearing. Yeah, you're gonna have to find some type of balance. Okay. Mm hmm. So what we're gonna what what do you want to pull these cards for? Spirit, what you want me to what you want me to do? Jupiter, okay, that could be like material possessions, worldly, earthly, something like that, Jupiter, Jupiter has like finances, right, there's about to be a change in your finances, because I did see magical blessings, so you're about to get some type of magical blessing, you're going to have to use your wisdom when you get this magical blessing, okay, I know Spirit's telling me to tell you you're going to be excited about it for some of you guys, but I'm going to need you to hush, Okay, Mercury, this is a lesson. You've learned your lessons or this is going to be a lesson. Whatever, okay, so this can go either way. God is getting ready to bless you or tempt you or something with some type of finances, okay? Um, or somebody's going to come and tempt you with some type of finances. But whatever these finances are, it's going to change your life. So for some of you, these finances that God's going to bless you with, this magical blessings it's going to change your life some of you have learned so you've learned the lesson to receive this blessing oh no, hold on y'all y'all can't even see huh let me move the table this way i'm like what's going on i can't see let me move it down here so y'all can see okay so you're you've learned some type of lesson about finances and you're getting ready to be put in a situation where you're about to get magical blessings okay that's what i'm getting you could be a taurus earth sign and then somebody's angry about it. You have somebody in your energy that's angry about you. You about, to, you about to receive some type of blessing. Some of you are being stubborn and resisting to learn the lesson to get this blessing. Yep. And some of y'all mad about your situation and you have the nerves to be mad because you're not learning the lessons. You need to go within. Okay. 
Because you're you're in an illusion of yourself and you're in your emotions. So you need to emotionally detach from whatever the situation is because God's clearly not opening up the threshold for you to receive this because you're not learning the lesson. The first thing on the card was a lesson. I mean, was Jupiter, which is finances. And then Mercury is like, a lesson like maybe somebody's going to come toward come to you in mercury retrograde to see if you've learned the lesson before they give you these finances okay you're gonna have to be emotionally unbalanced because whoever's coming towards you did you learn the lesson because they're going to use emotional manipulation could be a capricorn okay could be the earth sign energy yeah so I'm going to leave these. Okay, get one more spirit. And then we're going to go. So, yeah. So, you guys. I'm not getting anything sad or. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah. And this is going to be for you because you're passionate and you're fiery with about this person or whoever this energy is or they are about you. But anyway, did you learn the lesson? Detach from whatever you need. Detach from your emotions about this lesson. Because some of you guys are resisting. A magical blessing coming in. God wants to test and see where you're at with it. Okay? Yeah. Emotional. Okay. So, Cancer could have something to do with it. Pisces could have something to do with it. Taurus. And or a Leo. Or this person could have aspects of... All, well, everybody got aspects of everything in their chart. But this could be their, This could be anything. Sun, sun, moon, or rising. But whoever this Leo is, they mad that they could not pull the wool over your head. Okay? And here you are getting ready to receive a magical blessing. Dang. Okay, Gemini. Hi, vibe. So somebody's angry because they weren't able to pull the wool over your head. You learned the lesson and they're coming back to return. God is sending them back. They're being forced. This person don't want to come back. They're angry. Oh, they're angry. They being stubborn. They could have Taurus in their chart or they could have... Because, mm, you know, the Taurus is like kind of stubborn. So they're being like kind of dragged towards you. Because they're supposed to learn a lesson. So you did you learn a lesson or did they learn a lesson? You learned the lesson. Now, okay, and then whoever. Why is cancer here, spirit? For some of you guys, not all of you, I heard the person coming towards you has cancer. Okay? And this is a lesson. And this is why they're angry as well. Because they're sick in some form or fashion. They were supposed to learn a lesson, but they're they're. They're too all in their emotions, child. Like, mm. But wisdom is going to be the stability of thy times and where you're going to have to find some balance. You're going to have to find some type of balance, okay? Or this person needs to use his wisdom or her wisdom and they need to find some type of balance, okay? Because they just doing too much. Spirit told them to go down and they need to lay down and take a nap or Gemini, you need to lay down and take a nap some damn where, okay? Mm-hmm. What else, spirit? And that's, Vera said, literally, go sit down. Take a power nap. Ask for help. Somebody's going to come and ask you for some help. Because you got some fucking fortune. And they're coming to you because you're showing up as this earth angel, light. You know, look how she looked. This is you, male or female, it doesn't matter. You guys are showing up as earth angels, light, free, lovely, bubbly. You could have a very high vibe. Your heart, you're just a very, you're a lover. You're very passionate too. Passionate about loving. Just love in general, loving humankind, mankind, okay? But you got somebody, and because you are, you are that energy, you have someone from your past possibly going to come towards Mercury retrograde to ask you for some money or some finances. And Spirit said, did you learn the lesson? Okay. But they're coming to ask you for some help because you are an earth angel and they feel that you would give to them. Yep. It's, a, it, it's illusion though. Whatever they're asking you for, Spirit said, you got to protect yourself from this energy. Okay. Yeah, you got to find balance and protect yourself and use your wisdom with dealing with this Leo, Taurus, a Cancer, or a Pisces energy. They're angry right now. They're, they're, they, they want your head. It's war. All out war. Oh my God, they're so angry right now. 
Spirit, why are you letting them try to come back if they so damn angry? Lord, we don't want that. We Look, we don't want nothing. You just keep that over there. We rebuke all of that energy. Do you hear me? We rebuke it all. Mm-hmm. Child, because they passing away. Ooh! For some of you guys, Spirit, what is this? Okay. I asked why they were angry. Then the death card came out. Then, after that, the Ten of Swords came out. That's an ultimate betrayal. They're angry about a death and or an ultimate betrayal. Something that happened that changed their pathway. Okay? What's the death, Holy Spirit? And they're angry about it. Their intuition of this work. Oh, damn, Gemini. Wow, did somebody in this motherfucking camp die? So it could be a, it could be a Pisces, a Cancer, a Taurus. And a Leo. So it could be one person. It could be these four people. But whoever they are, they, they did some type of work that they were told not to do. Okay? This is why they're angry and somebody passed away. Somebody passed away. And now they're just trying to figure out, well, what the fuck? We, you don't do nothing. You don't do shit. Look at them. We ain't got no... Look, look, okay, and then they want to try to come to you because you sit here. I'm telling you, this is what's, did you learn the lesson? You're here, Empress. You're in this Jupiter financial, wonderful energy. You got all this love going on. Look at you just spreading the love and just, you got somebody bitter and cancery over here. Okay, yeah, God's putting them through a lesson because they are too, they're too, spirits say passionate, but in a bad way. They take aggressive, negatively aggressive, angry, okay, hostile. Mm. This person needs to find balance because they overdo things. You do everything in moderation while this person is an overindulger. Because they've overindulged in whatever they've overindulged in. Possibly magic because it's up here to try to stop you. Because you're up here, that shit popped back. It was an illusion, the Neptune. It was nothing more than an illusion. And now this person is asking for help either from the ethers or their low vibrational um, entity who they worship. Or they're going to come and ask you for some help. You're going to have to make some type of executive decision. I feel like you've already made it up or you know what you're going to have to do already. This is Mercury. You've already closed the cycle out. And baby, you've already moved right along. So this is why this person or these people are angry. Because they're trying to get back into your energy. Because they are right now stuck. And they're spying on you. Okay? To see that the magic that they did did not work, Gemini. Okay? It didn't work. Dang. Okay. And then what else, Holy Spirit? Anything else you want to say from the fairy oracles or what's going on? Yeah. You're going on a journey and you're leaving this person behind. Period. You're going on a journey. You're leaving this person. Some of y'all about to move to a new location. It's time to prepare for a new journey. The cycle has been completed. The, the, you know, with the world and the will of fortune and the tower and the death. These are like five major. We got the empress, the world, the fortune, will of fortune, the tower, and the death. These are five major arcanas. This is a huge, 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 huge deal. Not trying to scare anybody, but I need you to pass the test. Okay? What five major arcanas just pop up off the blue? You know what I mean? So this is a big deal. You're learning. You're going through a lesson. You got to pass this test and possibly reject and cut or block. you. Whatever you got to do, you got you to gotta keep these people out of your energy and keep your balance right. Okay, because you're getting ready to receive this Jupiter energy, this fortune. Was it Jupiter or Saturn? Oh, Jupiter. That um, earthly, worldly, like for like um, you know, materialism, material things. But the thing is, you're not materialistic if that's making sense. You're very spiritual, very intuitive. You're gonna use your intuition on this one. You got gods and gave you double. Double intuition, so there ain't no excuse for you to fail any damn thing because you balanced as fuck, okay? You already know what you got to do, Gemini, and you, some of y'all about to move, okay? 
It says it may be impromptu or planned, but either way, make sure you're ready. So when you know the time comes, pack your passport now. So you already feel I'm picking up with this intuitive energy that this has to be done. You know somebody's coming or something is coming towards you. You're waiting on something and you know exactly who this is. This is the person that backstabbed and betrayed you. Okay, spirit, and, and, and you've used your wisdom and you're going to use your wisdom when they come to approach you. Okay, they don't wasted your damn time and everything, spirit say. They did, but they didn't waste your time, but they're coming back to tempt you. Okay, yeah, and what else, Holy Spirit? And when they come back to tempt you, because spirit is coming to see, did you have that transformation? You don't understand? They come in to make sure. And then when you pass the test, then you're going to receive these magical blessings. This Jupiter energy. Okay? I like this, Gemini. Okay, what else, Spirit? Somebody is mm -mm, looking for you, Gemini. They really are. Ooh, I cannot make it up. They're looking for you. Wait for winter. Something's getting ready to pop in the winter time. Or something happened last winter, or maybe you were supposed to learn. Somebody is supposed to learn a lesson in the winter. Something came to pass in the winter. Okay? And what happened in the winter, Spirit? Why do we need to know that? Because in the winter, it was crucial for you to put in the work, whatever work that you needed to do, because that was going to change the projection, the trajectory of your path. Even though, it, you know, it can't, but you know what I'm saying. So you needed to make a decision. Okay, as far as maybe work or to work on something with somebody else. Oh, yeah, you needed to make that decision to go ahead and leave this motherfucker out in the cold. Yeah, you already intuitively knew. Yep, it's going to have to be a love situation or a lover. Gemini, maybe cross watcher, you're going to have to cut something off with a Gemini or Gemini going to have to cut something off with a cross watcher, possibly King of Pentacles energy. Okay, but anyway, you're going to have some decisions to make. Um, you got some, yeah. So when Gemini makes this decision, the will of fortune is, yeah, you got to walk away. You got to walk away. And then that shows God that you've healed. Dang. Yeah, that has. Oh, Lord have mercy. Yep. And that Neptune energy, that illusion, because some of y'all feel like you're healed. But honey, the test will be here when this person come back from your past. Are coming, uh, yeah. Mm, honey, it's going to, and whoever this energy is, they look good, too. They are possibly a fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries energy. This person wants to invest in you. They want to make it work again. But you already see the illusion, and you already know intuitively what you need to do to move forward. You don't want anything to block your blessings, Okay. So what you're going to do is you're going to make the wise decision just to walk away. Yeah, but this, yeah, you're going to make the decision to walk away because you already know this is not an equal give and take. I heard you. Yeah, they showed you it wasn't an equal give and take because you asked them to invest in you or guess. I don't know. You ask this person to invest or to work it out or let's do this or you're my two of cups. You spoke some truth to them about love or investment or moving forward. Like I'm the ace of cups. Like I'm the one. I love you. And they were like, bitch, they left you on red or they were in their shadow side or they were confused or they, they couldn't make up their mind which way they wanted to go. So they left your ass on red holding. And so now... Now they feel defeated, whoever this energy is, whoever they are, they feel defeated because now they see you as the Ten of Pentacles, Empress. You're the Ten of Pentacles. Jupiter, that's the fortune. And here they come to ask you to reconcile what they ask or to come together or something like that. They want... They want a new beginning with you and they want to come and they want to say, I love you and let's balance it out and let's work it out. But it's for your Jupiter finances. It's for your 10 of Pentacles. <laughs> yeah, you know this though, honey, you already know. Look, because the Queen of Swords and I had to flip her down and I was like, oh, then when I seen the, yeah, Queen of Swords, you already know, you see it coming from a mile away. You see this Knight of Cups coming towards you for to reconcile for finances. 
because you know they're going through some type of poverty or some type of loss or some type of whatever. And you know they're trying to come in with some type of illusion and confusion so they can get this ten of cups with your ass. But they made you feel, they rejected your ass though. You offered this shit to their ass. You did. You said, look, I love you. Let's make it work. You're my wish fulfillment. Look, you come on my team, we can take over the world and we can have whatever we like. We can have be a power couple. Bitch, but they ghosted your ass and put you in competition with a queen of wands or somebody else. But what they did was reject you. And now they're crying over spilled milk because they see you in this Empress Jupiter energy and they are entrapped in their head because the the look, now they want to because you hear you moving forward. Whatever you told them came to pass. Now they feel fucking foolish because they didn't listen to the intuition of the ancestors and God was something they knew they should have moved forward with you. And now they stuck like Chuck. And so I don't understand why they think that you want this empress or emperor. But the thing is, you, they, they know you don't. They're being forced to come towards you so you can make that executive decision so you can receive your blessings and really complete out this, really close out this chapter of this. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mercury. Did you learn the lesson? Yeah, you're gonna cut that shit out. So anyway, Gemini, I'm proud of you. So you got one, you gotta test it. You gotta you gotta you're gonna pass it though. You're gonna pass it. I have so much faith and belief in you. You've come so far. You didn't get into this energy for nothing. You understand? And you're not getting the Jupiter Empress energy for nothing. Okay. And this is something that you possibly feel, but you don't know. But just keep doing, make the right moves, learn the lessons, continue to work on yourself, study, whatever you do, okay? Somebody is looking in a book to cure some cancer, okay? But whoever this is, mm, this is part of your karma for what you did to this empress or emperor energy. But I feel it's a... Yeah, and, I, and no, I'm not reading for, it's not all about the feminines. I read for men, but when I feel a certain energy and spirit will have me pull it to deliver the most strongest message to the one that needs to hear it. And unfortunately, a lot of women and men, but a lot of women need to um, step into this empress energy because, you know, a lot of women are being done wrong. And not to say men aren't doing, you know, being done wrong, but we need women to step into their empowerment, okay? It's kind of been a, some weird shit going on with the ladies. But anyway, baby, um, uh, yeah, you learned the lesson, and I'm proud of you. Mm, mm, mm. Some of you guys are going to um, think about investing back in the past and, Damn, Gina, look, I know it's hard. Don't be holding on to this three. I love, love, love. Like, don't hold on to the individual. Learn to let go. God has millions and billions of people out here. Trust me, if you, if the Holy Spirit be in you and you got that love in you like that, you can love and get along with everybody. Do you hear me? You don't have to be all, whatever. But anyway, if you go invest in this person from the past, because I told you it was a lesson. If you go ahead and say, oh, yeah, I know. I know this is my twin. Are you so thirsty for love? Two of cups. I mean, you know, because some people don't like to hear what I'm saying. And I'm not trying to hurt anybody's feelings. But Jack Nicholson said a lot of people can't handle the truth. This is a reality of the world that we live in. You will be under judgment. Yes, you have a lot of emotions for this person. And the feeling was real. But they keep you backstabbed and betrayed. And you were supposed to be balancing out that shit. Okay, loving on yourself, not the other individual that doesn't have any love for you. That's not an equal give and take. Spirit's been telling your ass to close it for I don't know how long. And you just refuse to do so. Or this energy in this, they need to close it out with you because they refuse to change. And they're angry about it. Because you have elevated into some type of star or healer or nurturer or whatever you do. You up high somewhere, okay? I heard Google me, bitch. Okay. Gemini, we got to Google you. That's what I'm talking about. So you on Google, <laughs> giving yourself self-love. and That's the truth. Okay, giving yourself self-love, loving the world. You have a lot of wisdom and you're going to use it wisely. Yeah. And what else, spirit? 
what else, Holy Spirit? Ooh, ooh, that wanted to fall out. Yeah, this person's immature and they not single. And that that you know what? I don't like this energy. Okay, for first of all, they're gonna come to you not single. Or if they come to you single, they're not gonna be single. This person doesn't really want to come to apologize to you. They're being forced to come to your way for this money. And that's something, yeah, because look, they want to be the king of pentacles, but it was such a heavy burden because they already had a chance. They, all they had to do was show you some love, but they didn't. And you intuitively knew that they were working with other people as well and possibly doing magic to stop your forward movement. Yep, they were doing it with other, yep. So it's a no, it's just missed. So just learn this, Mercury retrograde, if somebody come back to you from your past, and that's with anything, not just a person, but maybe a situation could show up again. Maybe you could do something different than you did the last time to pass through. Does that make sense? So Gemini, that's been your reading, my lovey. I love you so much, and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.